The Attack on Titan final season anime Blu-ray is out. So here's every change or improvement. Was it a colossal upgrade? Did they replace CG with 2D animation? Did Wiz Studio come in to redo everything? Who's the dumbass that spent over $200 on this? So go ahead and colossal smash that like. I saved you over 8 hours plus so much money. My wallet is sad. And a thank you to Darkfire Heroes for sponsoring. From the developers behind Angry Birds, this game gives you real-time combat. Assemble your favorite team of five and move out. You know I got a weak spot from archers and magic users. Honestly, this is the first time I've seen this type of gameplay. In real time, you got this top-down view commanding your party. You guys keep on traveling and battling enemies till the boss showdown. Keep in mind all the levels and enemies are uniquely handcrafted, not auto-generated. Which means strategy is required. What I love right away about the game is that they actually make heroes easy to get, which includes rare and epic characters. You definitely know the feeling, being frustrated seeing that legendary hero, but you can't get him. No worries here. You got 50 plus heroes, all with unique specials. Darkfire Heroes is free to play on your mobile, so if you got some free time, why not try it out? Just click the top link to download. At the same time, you're going to be super special awesome by helping to support the channel. Link below. Kicking this off with Falco. Do you notice the colors looking a bit muted? Let me just mention it here since it is stuff you see throughout the 8 episodes. It's not extreme, but some of you will notice the colors tone down a bit. For Gabby here, they added the lines to her eyes, which actually does match the face that Gabby makes right after. For the Jaws Titan here, this guy actually got changed to a silhouette instead of being transparent in the smoke. Gotta cover up the CG. Next up, the blimp. So notice that outer, more detailed texture, completely gone. You later see the blimp downgraded again. Hey, best girl Pika arrives. They actually fix the lighting on Pika as she enters the room. For the thick Reiner here, you actually have the shadow here fixed. Getting into the Suicide Squad Titan rundown. Annie's picture here actually got made a lot smaller. You see the same done for Reiner, for the Jaws Titan picture, for the Mr. Beast Titan, for Peak and her car Titan, and of course the Colossal Titan. As the warriors are heading over to the island, the water actually got updated behind the boat. For Annie smacking down Reiner, you actually have a little bit more grass. For best buddy Reiner and Aaron, newly updated, they're now made darker in the sun. Getting to the Willy meeting, so notice in the background, they actually blurred it. Could this really just be the map of style? A few seconds later, they do the same for the background too. Keep this in mind because you're going to be hearing me say this a lot. For Falco here, notice his shirt is actually made a little bit darker. For this next shot at Marley, do notice more people added in the background, including this lady sitting on the right. Getting to one of the more drastic changes, and that's not even a joke. You now have a lot more sausages, and more breadsticks, some spices, even the cat got a texture upgrade. In this construction area for the stage being built, do notice the background now is blurred. For the little bird boy walking away being taken advantage. Hey, once again, more blur in the background or would that be the foreground, depending on Falco's point of view. Anyway, party time with Willie. You now have more people added into the background while Willie walks. This dude's headpiece is now turned blue. For everyone gathered around to hear Willie talk, naturally more people added here too. There's so many people that you actually can't see the tables anymore. For the warriors here, they actually blurred out the warriors in front. For the stadium area here, now the light is given this bluish tint. For the walls on Paradise Island coming crashing down. So take a look at this, really just an explosion of light there. For Willy up in stage, now they actually fix the shadow behind him. For Willy tenderized by Aaron, this one's actually a little hard to spot, but the blood movement got shifted a little. Look at the train and doll. The toys are now in the shade. Also, overall, just a lot less light. For all of Willie's kids, the background here has been blurred. Gotta cover the mess. For Willie's carriage here, the paint job has been updated. The horse is as much more detailed. You see something similar a little bit later. The white horse is now a darker shade. The shady newspaper guy is now more in the shadows. For Willy here, notice the left. Instead of it just being bright outside, you can actually see what's passing by. Getting into Eren's attack titan attack. For his grand entrance, there's now more light on the actual body. And do let me know whether you think this looks better. Like two minutes later, you do get another close-up of the attack titan's face. Then for Eren literally smashing those morally higher ups. This whole scene is made a lot brighter. But naturally, the most obvious change is now the smoke got removed too, so you can see the titan smashing a lot clearer. You would think they'd be trying to hide some of the CG. And take a look at this. Freaking yes, they heard my complaints, they saw my video. As if. But finally, they added the green glowing eye. 
definitely worth the $200 right there. As for Eren going in for the sucker punch to the Warhammer Titan's face, you actually have a little extra lightning effect added. For the Marley soldiers here, do notice this light flare added. For Eren on top of the Warhammer Titan's body, in this shot now, the Warhammer Titan's legs have been blurred a bit. Getting into Eren's ass getting drilled, notice the Warhammer Titan spike, it now has this far better texture added. Switching over to Colt heading to the hospital, first off, this guy got a face update. The other thing you might notice is that there's far less smoke compared to the background. In the focus on Gabby a few seconds later, you can see this too, far less smoke on top of the character. Switching over to Peek getting rescued, all of these guys are now in the dark as they peek down. Switching over to our heroes coming in from above. In the blue right now, they actually added the cable up above. As for Eren hung like a Christmas tree star, now you have a ton of blood spilled onto the actual spike. Then for Eren on the ground, the camera now follows Eren's titan as he gets up. In the far shot, you do have this light flare added, and also more light on the right side too. For Eren getting shot up, the framing got changed up a bit here, although it still ends up in the same spot with Eren getting shot. Then with Eren looking back at the cannons, the cannon is now more visible, and then on the flip side, Eren is now blurred to remove the focus from him. Then for Eren protecting his neck, now his titan body is much more steaming. The buildings in the background have naturally also been blurred here too. Next up, the Warhammer Titan going in for the finishing move. Perhaps for the better, the Warhammer Titan in the background has been blurred a bit. Do notice on Eren's body, a ton more steam coming out. For Eren in that meaty slit, originally this thing was a lot brighter red. Now the juicy bits are a little bit darker. For that lovely Warhammer Titan close-up, the background slightly blurred now. With the Eren close-up, naturally both the little lights are behind him, so the guy looks a little bit darker here. Getting to the badass Ackerman making her entrance, you now have the 3D maneuver gear hook more detailed. For the Thunder Spears throughout this, now the actual backfire has been changed up. Instead of being this orangey yellow color, it's now this greenish blue. You're going to be seeing this a lot now. Look at this, tons more soldiers added. Really just more meat bags to get blown up. For the Warhammer Titan body flopping down, you may recall me catching this mistake in my anime vs manga comparison videos. The Warhammer Titan body has been updated to actually have that Thunder Spear damage. Over on top of the Attack Titan, Eren's body has been darkened. There is a ton more steam coming out too. Must be Eren's quirk. Looking at the soldiers camping out, you now have the room a little bit more lit up from the light peeking in. For the two scared Marley soldiers over here, the background over here has been blurred. Switching over to the stallion, this guy's horse face got updated, not to mention his expression overall. And he's not the only one, look at Flock here too. He now looks, I don't know, a little bit younger? I don't know about you, but I think he actually looked better before. Getting to Mikasa Ackerman, oh cry time. You may recall this shot being used by people complaining that Mikasa looked too much like a little boy. So I'm curious, did they actually fix it? Did they improve this enough for you? But Mikasa's not the only one, take a look at Eren in this shot. Now the guy isn't as round, isn't as chubby, looks like he's slimmed down too. Switching to the Marley soldiers coming in, an update to this is the guys in the background got a blur. As for Kony here, hey your guy also got a facelift. You can really see the light in his eyes. Speaking of which, a few seconds later, Sasha also got the same update, a sparkle in her eyes, unfortunately for the last time. For the soldier here that landed on the tomato, now you actually can't see the pool of blood too well. Switching over to Mikasa playing with the Warhammer Titan, naturally the Thunder Spear she's using also got their fire updated. Eren being the main character, naturally the guy also got another face update. He's got more chin now. As for Eren plucking out the Tiber Sisters crystal, this thing got a lovely shine added. A few seconds later, it's actually easier to see Mrs. Warhammer Titan in her actual crystal egg. With Levi standing guard, notice the lighting slash texture for the attack titan also changed up a bit. Then for the Jaws titan trying to escape, they actually added the spotlight on the left. Sorry, you won't be getting away. Another scene made a little bit brighter. In case there was any doubt, you do have Jean, Mikasa, and Kony on this scene. For the Jaws titan from behind, another change here to make the overall scene look better. The simple face Jean got a facelift upgrade. With the beast titan coming in, you have that red light next to its titan belly. As for Gabby running through hell, they really made the flames bright red, and that sky is now purple. For the car titan getting attacked here, the body is now a little bit darker, the gun flares are brighter now, and then the beast titan and jaws titan that follow also got this lighting update. Does it improve the CG? Next up, a pretty awesome scene. You got Mikasa flying and shooting her thunder spear, this whole scene got completely redone. I think this is the first of this happening so far, which is awesome. For Falco's flashback, this got a Pikachu level of yellow. 
Then, in the Reiner and his daddy's flashback, it's now not as dark. For the two scouts attacking the giant monkey, the background is now blurred. Taking a look at Hobo Aaron, he's got more hair down the middle. A few seconds later for Aaron's attack titan, so this thing got turned a darker shade and there is a texture update too. Taking a look at the second flesh Gundam, so once again another shading update, and more dust too. For Parko looking super shocked, they blurred the Jaws Titan hair, they blurred the background, and now they added digital smoke. What is this, the Japanese hub? At this point just blur everything. Taking a look at the word Titans, the camera panning over to the Beast Titan got slowed down. Also the Jaws Titan and Car Titan darkened up. Maybe that's the secret of making CG look better. Over to Levi, look at that pocket watch. The face of it is now a muted bluish color, which makes sense, the guy's in the shadows. Taking a look at the far shot of the harbor, the speed of the camera panning is slowed down. On top of the ship, you actually have a new sailor guy added running across the screen. Looking at the boat below, a lovely texture added to their warship. Also better lighting added to Armin's ride. Now for an interesting change to the Armin Colossal Titan nuke. You can now see the Titan lightning coming down that actually makes the Colossal Titan entrance. For Falco here, they actually fix his eyes. Over to the Jaws and Peak Titan, you do have the camera shake added. For the actual nuke, this got changed into bringing this bright mushroom blast instead of just smoke. Overall, the area is lit up like this Christmas celebration. With the Jaws Titan charging in, slight smoke added. The inside of the mouth also got changed from pink to a dark red. For superhero Jean coming in, of course you got the Thunder Spear update. This includes all the other scouts blasting Peak into the afterlife. Sorry. Over on the blasted area, you got the busted ship chunks in the background that got darkened. Lone hand sticking out here, this now has a brighter red filter. Same thing goes for the crushed kid. For something interesting, the Armored Colossal Titan scene. You got the opposite, it actually got made darker. Honestly, I really prefer the original shot. It looked like it came straight out of Evangelion. Then for Jean about to stab Peak, more frames got added extending his scene. For something surprising, look at Jean blasting the Thunder Spear. Lately redone, like the Mikasa scene. Awesome. For Gabby here, her face got updated. Hey, Armin, his eyes got made smaller. He's probably thinking about a certain bum. With the Jaws Titan crashing down, you got it more in the camera shot now. Less dust all around too. And once again, for Eren's Titan, the glowing green Titan eye. We needed much more of this. So anyway, drinking up that delicious Titan milkshake. Notice the teeth and mouth area got that needed dental fix. For Reiner coming out, you actually have the Attack Titan and Crystal Tree not in the dark anymore. Once again for this one, I think I prefer the original. Over here, Reiner has a more steamy entrance now. And look at Reiner's mugshot, they completely remade it. Come on, what happened to Reiner being handsome Squidward? Anyway, getting into Reiner versus Eren round, I don't know. The spotlight has been reduced a bit on them, which makes it easier to see their clash. For the Gabby scene, they actually moved this shot of her running into the building around. Weird. Why? For something fixed here, they actually added back the lights on the roof that the scouts planted. For the plump gentleman here, the light in his eyes got updated. For the bottom of the blimp, this got made a shade darker. And look at this, the buildings got added, so you know they're still fairly low. Like 4 minutes later, the town also got added to the shop below the blimp. For the sad crushing scene, you do have Jean, Potato Girl, and the blonde that got this hairdo upgrade. For Peek's face, the titan markings are now made a deeper red, which actually do match the close up of Peek later on. Let me know if you want to see me cover the next 8 episodes by smashing the like. If this video gets over 9000 likes, that will happen. But seriously, was it worth the $200? For my broke ass, hell no. Especially not when you consider spending like another $100 to get a Blu-ray player. If you were expecting the CG to be redone, that was not gonna happen. Still, I think with the one month delay, a lot of us expected more drastic changes. With what you have now, if you didn't like the CG Titans before, I don't think this will win you over. If you liked it or were in the middle, you'll like this. Unfortunately, right now, the reality for Mappa with their overworked staff is should they work on the Blu-ray, should they work on the next eight episodes should they be focusing all their time on the final attack of titan chunk by the way i'm glad i was able to fit this into one video also since i've been getting asked about the attack of titan hometown visit return i don't want to say that trip is cancelled but for the moment it's been postponed indefinitely if you know you know also, Jerry, where is the 500 million sub video? Originally, that was supposed to be some very quick Q&A type of video. At this point, it's taken so long that we're about to hit the next milestone, which is why I think I'm just going to combine the two. The current plan is really to just do a video focusing on how I got to this point, how this became a full-time thing, how I even got to Japan, which I actually answer a lot of the questions you asked. 
But anyway, definitely check out my recent video going over why you should be hyped over Chainsaw Man. Unfortunately, YouTube flagged that like within 24 hours. Yay, 25% of my income gone. Also check out the previous Friday video going over what exactly anime gets wrong about Japan. I might be doing a follow-up on that. Check back Fridays if YouTube does not send you new videos. And I'll see you guys later.